Hi, I'm Dr. John. Have you ever wondered how the heart works? Today, we're going to travel inside the heart to learn all about it. We'll travel away from the heart in an artery towards the muscles. Then, we'll return back to the heart, riding through the veins. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do you want to learn more about the heart with me? Great, let's go. Hey, check it out. We're inside the emergency department, where we have equipment and tools to take care of people and monitor the heart. So let's take a closer look at the heart. Is that what a real heart looks like? No, that's a pretend heart, a symbol of love. You'll see a lot of those on Valentine's Day as balloons or as candy, but it's not what your heart really looks like. Do you want to see what your heart looks like on the inside? I have some special x-ray glasses that we can use to take a look inside. Here, check them out. So this is what your heart really looks like inside the chest. The heart's job is to squeeze and pump blood around the body. Where does that blood go? The heart is connected to blood vessels, which are like tubes or pipes, which take blood away from the heart and then bring it back. Every time the heart pumps, it squeezes blood into these blood vessels. Hmm. That blood vessel there looks kind of like a water slide to me. That water slide looks pretty fun. I've got an idea. Why don't we take a trip through the heart and the blood vessels like a water slide? Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Can this thing slow down? Whoa, we just left the heart and now we're riding down a big blood vessel called an artery. This artery is full of blood and it has these red blood cells which carry oxygen. Your body uses oxygen to make energy so you can do things like flex your muscles. Can you flex your muscles? Great. Once the blood reaches the end of the artery, it slows down so the blood can give the oxygen to the tissues that need it, like to the muscles and the brain. After the blood delivers the oxygen, it collects in veins where it moves slowly back to the heart. It's like a big circle from the heart to the rest of the body and back to the heart over and over and over. Blood flow through the arteries is fast like a rushing river, but blood flow through the veins is much slower like a leisurely creek ride. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wow, that was an amazing trip. Did you have fun riding through the heart and blood vessels? Whoa! Awesome. During the trip, you might have been wondering, how does the heart actually squeeze and pump blood? Well, the heart is a muscle. And just like you can flex the muscles in your arms, the heart muscle flexes too, and that gives it the power to pump blood. Yes, Dr. John, of course the heart is a muscle. And it must be a very strong muscle to pump blood to all the rest of your muscles. I'll be back. Well, thank you. You know, we've learned a lot about the heart and the blood vessels so far, but there are many more cool things that we can learn about the heart. Do you have any questions about the heart? Like, when does the heart start beating? And does it get bigger as we grow? Do animals have hearts like you and me? Why does the heart beat faster? And does it ever take a break? Well, let's take a look. Your heart starts beating even before you're born. And we can see that using a special machine called an ultrasound. That's the heart beating right there. Hmm. I'm not sure I like how his thumb is pointing down. Let's turn that around. All right. You know, babies and kids have faster heart rates than grown-ups. 
A grown-up's heart beats only about 60 times a minute, but a newborn baby's heart beats more than twice that speed. <laughs> One amazing thing about the heart is that it doesn't get tired. It keeps beating day and night all day long without you even thinking about it. Take a look at this heart pumping, sending blood back and forth, back and forth. You know, when we're resting, our heart rate can be nice and slow. But when we're exercising, our body needs more oxygen. So the heart rate speeds up to send the blood and oxygen to the muscles that need it. The heart also speeds up when we're nervous or excited, like when we're riding a roller coaster. From the time you're born to the time you graduate high school at about age 18, your heart will beat almost one billion times. In animals, the smaller the animal is, the faster its heartbeat. An elephant is really big, so its heartbeat is slow, about 30 times a minute. A puppy dog's heart is much faster, closer to a newborn baby's heart at about 150 times a minute. Hummingbirds are tiny and super fast, and their heart can beat about a thousand times a minute. I'm tired just thinking about that. On the other hand, cold-blooded animals like lizards and sharks have much slower heartbeats. A great white shark has a heartbeat of only 10 times a minute. That's really slow. Isn't the heart amazing? It's like a well-tuned machine to keep our bodies running. So what can we do to keep our hearts healthy? Exercise is really important for a healthy heart. Remember, the heart is a muscle. And like a muscle, it needs exercise to stay healthy. There are many different ways to exercise. Some people exercise on gym equipment, like this bike here. For you, it might mean running around at school or at recess, playing a team sport, or enjoying the great outdoors and taking a hike or riding a bicycle. What's your favorite kind of exercise? Awesome. Well, what else can we do to keep our hearts healthy? Eating good food is also really important for keeping our hearts strong. Healthy foods like fruit and vegetables give our body energy. Some food isn't good for the body and can even be called junk food. Foods like hot dogs and donuts and chips don't have great ingredients for our bodies. And if we eat too much over time, it can make our body sick. So we should avoid junk food as much as we can and try to focus on eating healthy fruits and vegetables. Oh, excuse me. Believe it or not, sleep is really important for our heart too. Sleeping is like pushing the reset button on your body and it allows your body to recover from the exercise you did during the day. Did you know that music is good for your heart? That's right. You know, the heart itself is kind of like a musical instrument with the heartbeat going. Why don't we play along with it? Wow. If you put your hand upon the left side of your chest, you might feel your heart beating. It never takes a rest. Although it's one big muscle, it knows just what to do. It keeps the rhythm of your life by pumping blood for you. I'm singing about the heart. Heart, heart, heart. I'm singing about the heart. Heart, heart, heart. Beating from the start. Blood to every part. I'm singing about the heart. All throughout your body, blood goes on.
speeding faster It's ready and prepared From the tiny creatures to giants oh so tall The heart's the very core of life Beating for a song I'm singing about the heart Heart, heart, heart I'm singing about the heart Heart, heart, heart Beating from the start From the blood to every part I'm singing about the heart Thanks for watching the Dr. John Show today. I hope you learned a lot and had a lot of fun. I know I did. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can join us next time. I'll see you there. Bye.